everywhere, so we expect it. Okay, and we want, we see it at Target, you know, they change out their end caps every six weeks with new color, new designers. We see it at Starbucks, when you walk into a Starbucks, they call it their design language. They've engaged all five senses when you walk into a Starbucks. The color on the wall, the fabric on the seats, the music playing, the smell of coffee, the, the taste of coffee. They've created this brand experience with you. So when you walk in, you're not just buying a cup of coffee that typically would cost 25 cents. You've created a $3 and $50 sensory experience by buying my coffee. So prime time entertainment, paint has gone from being a hardware store shelf item to being fashion for the home. It's all about aesthetics, it's all about how it looks. Just to show you color changes and everything, it's not just, it's just a color and light. The base, best paint color in the world will look awful without the right lighting, okay? You just take it, you go back here, this is a Mexican Hacienda very old home. You add the color and you add light and it's created an environment and atmosphere around that color. So if we want to talk about color, just talk about the general groups and see where you kind of fall. So you might say, yes, blue is my color. I love blue, but we have 80 blues. So how do you get to that blue that's just perfect for you? First we go to red. Red is a very commanding color, of course. It's a very powerful color. It's the color, universal color for love. Um, red stimulates your appetite. That's why you see a lot of red used in uh, restaurants, coffee shops. <laughs> it helps to stimulate appetite. They want you to eat more. It's a great color. You do not want to use this color in a prison, let's say. Okay? Because it, it stimulates your senses. It gets you going. This is an example of one of our best reds in a hacienda. Again, pulling it in with a nice floating bed. How about that? I don't know how that thing would be to sleep in, <laughs> but it looks pretty. And then incorporating a nice blue with the red. Pink is a cousin to red, of course. Pink is not just for girls. You've got the soft pinks that came out and were very popular right after 9-11. Pink is a very compassionate color. Pink is the color you should paint a prison, and we've actually painted prisons in Texas. Pink, pink. Um, it brings out compassion. It makes it softens you. And after 9-11, the pink and the chocolate browns were very, very popular because it helps create a compassion for what happened. Um, now the pinks are moving to a much more darker pink. It's called Indian pink. Um, and we'll see those later in our trends. But And pairing it again with a medium brown. So what you do is when you pull a lot of color, like that pink is a big color, and you put a lot of that on the wall, you ground it with a lot of brown with your furniture, and now it doesn't feel like it's such a shocking color. This is a soft pink, so much more romantic, a little more feminine, and that's the darker pink. Again, layering color. So you've got the crushed velvet pink chairs against the pink wall with the dark brown drapes. Um, another thing, too, is when you think about nature and how nature always gets it right, nothing looks like it clashes in nature no matter how many colors you see in a landscape. <coughs> You can see a landscape of 15 different greens, and they all work together. They don't look out of place. So when you're thinking about your design, you layer colors, the right hues of the right color, you don't have to match that exact blue that's on your wall to your pillows, to your artwork. You can pull out other blues that will work with that. It'll, it'll be a much more complex environment, much more complex design. Orange. Orange has the power of red but it's a lot less glossy, okay? It's a very, it's our most welcoming color. So you see the really bright oranges, which work really great in children's area. It stimulates thought. Um, but then you get the really deep oranges for kitchens, which are great. This is our Hacienda orange. Beautiful in the kitchen. Yellow is a tough color. Yellow is one of the colors that explodes on the wall. So when you see it really little here, and it's like, yellow I want. I like it. It's perfect. And then you put it on the wall and it looks like Big Bird because you've now created a glowing atmosphere in your house that you didn't intend. You have to use a lot of white with yellow in order to, ta to, to um, tame it. And just be very careful with your yellows. This is a very pale yellow that we pulled in its complement purple. So now you've tamed that yellow and made it a lot softer. And then you pull in the antique distressed white and again, it's not so shocking. This is the burnt yellows that work really well in kitchens. Brown. If you think about brown as a material versus a color, because brown can, can, can be kind of flat, but if you think of um, some of the complex browns out there, our pumpernickel, our sarsaparilla, those were all inspired. 
inspired by bark and soil and things that of nature. So they're a little more complex, and it becomes this very, very warm setting. Again, pairing it with other colors and layering on top of each other. And it becomes a very interesting color. Blue. Blue is the most common favorite color. But blue is very, can be very complex. We were just talking about blue earlier. You have to be careful. You can pick a blue that looks great in a kid's room. It could be a baby blue. Or if you add a lot of gray to that blue, then it becomes more mature, more sophisticated. So this is a really nice color washing blue. This is a much deeper blue. Incorporated with lots of white, again. And this is a blue green. So there's all different types of blues out there to choose from. Green is nature's neutral. I love green. And if it's used correctly, it can look really gorgeous. But you've got to pull in a lot of different colors. So see how we pulled this in? Pulling in the blue, but that blue has some green in it. Okay, so again, and then pulling in the white with the green. And not matching it exactly, but getting in the right hue. And now you've created this whole setting that looks all tied together. Another great green shot. That's a much more muted blue. In Voice of Color, in most of uh, most paint companies, you have clean, muted, and neutral colors. And neutrals are your most grayed off colors. So you can get a green or a blue that's very grayed off. You can go up a step, the muted, it's still a little softer, or you can go up to a clean green, which is much brighter. Purple is the color that people get wrong the most. Um, it's another color like yellow where it looks great in that little chip. <laughs> and then you get it home and it's like, oh my god, it's not what I expected. Um, you have to be very careful with purple. Purple can be very majestic, very royal, like the very deep purples. But again, the more gray you add to the purple, the more that color can dissolve and like give you that type of uh, fog or type of real soft atmosphere. You just get a tad of purple in there. A little bit softer. The neutrals are the most popular because they go with every furniture out there. So you get the beiges and the off-white off -white and the grays that are really nice and they're grayed off enough that they're going to go with a lot of furniture. This is a great, great, great gray um, that's used with a lot of white and it created the atmosphere by using the curtains that are billowy that move with the wind, look like they move even though they're standing still. So you're creating this whole beautiful, serene atmosphere with that nice, soft, gray, neutral. And these are some of our best beiges. Ponytail, which is our, um, ponytail is our most popular color, most popular beige, and it's been our most popular color for two years now. And all the designers will tell you that, right? Ponytail. They, they spec this color more than anything. It's a great color. It's very warm. It's not too dark, not too rich of a color. It's rich, but it's not too saturated. And it goes with nearly every furniture fabric out 